Over the next three minutes, you're gonna learn three different techniques that you can use to create realistic shadows in Photoshop. Method one. Right, first let's create a new layer. Next, go and select the brush tool, and from the drop down at the top, pick one of Photoshop's default soft pressure opacity brushes. You can adjust the size and the hardness of the edge of the brush, and then use the square brackets to adjust the size and left click. Now press Command or Control T to enter free transform, and then holding Alt or Option, you can scale this down and adjust the size and position. Now it looks a bit fake, but we can fix that by selecting the sphere, adding another new layer, and then hold Alt or Option between the two layers and click. And you can now brush in some shadows on this new layer, and they will be clipped to the sphere. And if the shadows are a bit much, you can just bring down the opacity. And there we go, we've added a shadow, and it only took about 30 seconds. Nice. Method two. Okay, so this one's a bit more involved. Let's start by creating a new layer and selecting the elliptical marquee tool. Click and drag to draw an ellipse, something like this. And then from the bottom of the layers panel, we're going to add a gradient adjustment layer. Now we're going to set the angle to zero to go from left to right. And you can reverse this by clicking the checkbox. All looking good, click okay, and then go to filter, blur gallery, and select tilt shift. You can convert this to a smart object if you like, and then click and drag from the center to reposition the blur. You can rotate from this point holding shift, and then we'll move this to the left edge. Now let's increase the blur. And what this does is gradually increase the strength of the blur going from left to right. Once you're happy, click OK. Yes, 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 click OK. Hmm, should have clicked Don't Show again. Again, you can adjust the size by clicking and dragging from one of the corners. And I'm now going to adjust the position and send the layer to the bottom and make it look like the light is coming from the left and casting a shadow. Method three. Similar to before, we're going to start by creating a new layer and selecting the elliptical marquee tool. Click and drag to draw an ellipse and same as before, select the brush tool. Fill the selection with black, deselect the selection and then add a layer mask. Use the color picker to make sure your foreground color is black. That's all the way in the bottom left corner. Adjust your brush size and then brush away the edges. And you can use the cat blocks key if you'd like a more precise cursor. Now, arguably this does look awful, but I promise it will get better. So next let's go to filter down to blur and select Gaussian blur. We'll introduce a little bit of blur to soften those edges. Again, adjust the size and then select the layer mask and then brush away more of the left and right edges. Now, if the brush is too strong, you can drop the opacity down. This will help you create a much softer, more gradual shadow. And you can see here, I'm just taking a moment to refine this shadow. I'm gonna soften those edges and then make it darker towards the center where the sphere is closer to the surface. And this is all done on a layer mask, so it's completely non-destructive. And there we go, three shadows, three minutes, we are done. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, I've got another one over here that I think you'll like. And there's one over here suggested by YouTube's algorithm. So uh, yeah, take your pick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Take care and I'll see you next time.